Lab 599, the nice folks that brought us the TX500 10-watt QRP radio, they have revealed a brand new 100-watt model. Is it real? Is it vaporware? This is not the first model they've revealed and we haven't seen yet, but I found this the other day and we're going to talk about it today. By the time you watch this video, you will have seen my live stream with Ed and Oliver, Ed from the QRPstore.com and Oliver from DIY599.com. Oliver makes the amplifier and a battery version for the TX500, and Ed um, makes the 3D printed frames and an also another battery for the TX500. Lots of cool stuff about the TX500 coming up on this channel. I've got one of their Link 500 units, which I will be talking about in that live stream and using on a POTA activation soon. But while talking to them over email preparing for this live stream, they notified me about this brand new Lab 599 TX1000 unveiled full VHF, U UHF, and HF. HF, VHF, UHF. That right there, you see Lab 599 at the top, TX1000. I don't know how thin this thing is or isn't. I don't know, you know, I don't know much about it other than what I read right here. So, Lab 599 has officially shared the first photos and initial details about their latest project, latest project, the TX1000, direct sampling software-defined radio SDR transceiver covering HF, VHF, and UHF. This announcement marks an exciting development for the amateur radio community, introducing a true multiband, multimode SDR transceiver designed for serious operators. Multiband, multimode. I wonder what they mean by that. Because if they're talking about multimode like sideband, CW, and FM, and AM... We've had that many times in the past, so I'm not sure what they're talking about there. Perhaps we will read more below. Now, I will say this. This is nowhere for sale on the Lab 599 website. It's not. I, I didn't find it here at all. Okay. They mostly spout about their TX500, and I love my TX500. I've used it a on a couple POTA activations, but I've never made a video with it. So you're going to be seeing a video about this radio on the channel very soon. A couple of them, probably. But if we go up here to products at the top, and we scroll down, this TX500MP, which I did a video about last year, a year and a half ago, something like that, when it was announced, when it was brand new and announced, right here, it's showing up on their website. Okay? And it shows frequency of 0 0.5 to 56 megahertz, so it covers 6 meters. Sideband CW AM FM digital, so it's got digital mode built in like RIDI. A lot of radios have that right here. Standard package. Purchase. If we go out down here at the very bottom of this website, we have a purchase button. Okay, purchase from an international distributor with worldwide shipping. And if I click on this, and it takes me to desertwireless.com right here. This TX500MP is nowhere on this website. I already looked. It's not here. Because I was going to go order one, quite frankly. So TX500 that released, that announced this new man pack radio. Julian did a video about this. I did a video about this a while back. A year and a half ago. I don't even remember. I'll put an overlay of my video here. But this has not even come out yet. I, I know of no one that's had their hands on it. No one in the public that's had their hands on it. And this website that lab599.com links to does not show that model either. So is this real? Is it not? Is it vaporware? Is We don't know. We don't know what it is. It's on pileupdx.com, and they claim they got the images directly from lab599. Maybe it's on their Instagram account. Let's go look at that real quick. While I'm looking for Instagram... Let me tell you about Ham Radio Prep. If you want to use any of these radios, any of these features, any of these digital modes, any of the features that we talk about on the live stream that you probably will have, hopefully will have watched by the time you see this video, check out Ham Radio Prep. You can always save a 20% discount off of all of their courses with the coupon code of Jason20. Get a cool looking hat like this as well. They have an MCOM course and an HF Basics course. The HF Basics course would be great for a first time beginner who wants to use one of these radios as a QRP or a full powered rig if we actually get a full power rig out of Lab 599. And they are great field radios for POTA, SOTA, and whatever you want to do. So check out the links in the description below. Thank you, Ham Radio Prep, for sponsoring this channel. Okay, so I don't find an actual Instagram account for Lab 599. If I go to, sometimes if you go down to, wait a minute, they do have a link down at the bottom of their 
Oh, discovery underscore TX underscore 500 is their account. Okay. So this post right here, I'm not, okay, let's look. Let's look and see if we see anything about the TX-1000 that we're talking about today. I don't know where Palip DX got this information. I don't know how accurate is this information. I'm not seeing any pictures here. The last picture that Discovery TX-500 Laboratory 599, the last picture they posted was of the MP radio, and this was posted 66 weeks ago, over a year ago. So they're, so they're not... <laughs> They're not real active on Instagram. That's okay. It's all right. There's, it's not a pin post, is it? No, I don't think it is. This was uh, 66 weeks ago. This was Merry Christmas, 69 weeks ago. Okay. So, no, they haven't posted much. Any reels? So, I was hoping to find some pictures of this device, but no. No such luck. So, I don't know where Pileup DX is getting this information from. They said that Lab59 has officially released and shared the first photos and initial, and, and initial details. Okay, I'm going to take them at their word. Great. Why would they make up something? Pileup DX is a, is a good website. You can get some good stuff and good information on their website. But going through the list here, uh, Panorama Spectrum Waterfall, several spectrum display options. Okay, dual receiver, mixing sound from the AB and AB in stereo. A plus B or A and B in stereo. Cool. Dual receiver. Adjustable bandwidth from 0 hertz to 27 hertz. LPF from 100 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Built-in SWR power meter. It doesn't say tuner, it says meter. Okay. Automatic and manual notch filter, switchable AGC, band map, digital noise reduction, DNR, CAT, virtual COM port, USB operation, RDS, CW, RIDI, band-specific SWR graph plotting. Oh, it's got a plotter on it. That's kind of neat. Okay. Spectrum Analyzer, FT8, FT4, Receive Transmit. I wonder if that'll, it'll do that natively. Native FT8, FT4, no WSJTX needed. Interesting. SSTV decoder. Oh, okay, look at the screen. Okay, you know what? It's got a color screen. Kind of looks like an X6100 or an X6200. Sort of, kind of a little bit. So it will transcode slow scan TV. That's cool. FT8, FT4, log upload to allcuso.ru. I guess if you're in Russia, that's cool. Sideband FM scanner, a whisper beacon mode, voice operation Vox, memory card support, digital voice recorder, smart AGC, taking into account human hearing characteristics and, and K weighting, TXCO frequency stability, Wi-Fi operation, okay? Remote control with a, with a microphone, okay? So you can control part of it with a microphone. Digital self-identification uh, beacon and more. So there we go right there. This is their for sale page. You see it's out of stock. Okay. I wonder if they have the uh, TX500 MP in stock. I don't think they do. Announced April 25th. That's That was yesterday at the time of this recording. And all kinds of other stuff. Kind of the same thing I read just right there. So they're going to be selling this on this website when it's available. Okay. So you can see all, all four of them. That's kind of a neat picture. Open image and new tab. Okay. That's a good picture right there. All right, so it is not the flat form factor, or at least not in this picture. This TX100 is not the flat form factor that the TX500 and 500MP that we have, haven't actually seen yet. Different form factor from those. That's okay. That's okay. I was just wondering what the form factor was going to be like. Okay, you can see that right there a little bit, little bit deeper. Still looks, lar uh, looks a little bit smaller than an IC7300. What's the uh, availability? I don't know. When will it be ready? I don't know. Anything that we did not read today, I don't know the answer to. So the only thing they have, if we click on the breadcrumbs at the top and go to Lab 599 for uh, items for sale at pileupdx.com, we have the Discovery TX500, the original radio, the battery pack for that, and the TX1000 that we're talking about today. So we don't even see that TX500 MP. Don't even see that one on here at all. That TX1000 MP might as well be vaporware at this point in time because no one's seen one i don't know anyone that has one the link to the seller's website directly from lab599.com goes to a website that's that does not list it for sale pilot dx does not list it for sale inside the united states ham radio outlet sells the tx500 they don't have the tx500 mp listed on their website at all so i don't know is the tx100 going to be vaporware for the next two or three years are we going to actually get our hands on the tx500 mp I hope so. 
I know that this this company, Lab 59, is lo Lab 599. These guys are located in Russia, and I think that they moved headquarters from Russia to another area after the Russia-Ukraine war started. And I should know where they are now, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm looking at their about page, and it's not showing me much here as far as where they look. They located to another country. So they might be a little bit behind in production. I don't think these are produced in Russia anymore. They are somewhere in um, in Europe. They are somewhere overseas. For me, it'd be overseas. Somewhere in Europe, but it is not in the, it's not in Russia anymore. I don't believe. I want to say Netherlands, but I don't think that's right. I think that's wrong. I'm not sure where they are. So I'm sure that there's, with all the turmoil that we've heard about Russia for the past two or three years, I'm sure there's a lot of that that plays into production times and production lag behind times, so that may be part of it. But who is interested in this radio? If this radio drops tomorrow or next month, if this radio releases, is this? are you going to get in line for it? Are you interested in this radio? Do you have a TX500, and what do you think about it? Are you looking for the TX500 MP? And do you think you would use a 100-watt version of this radio, even though it is a larger form factor, not as portable, but still from a great company because the TX500 is an excellent piece of kit. Put a comment in the video below. Thanks for watching today. As this project unfolds, I will try to share as much information with you as I can get. 73.